Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this in the world, I hope you guys are doing okay. So this was meant to be a somewhat light-hearted video responding back to your comments regarding my cheesy tier list because I did find some of them funny and I wanted to address a few things. However, before I get to that, I've, I've been getting inundated with messages and forgive me, I haven't screenshot all of them because this is an add-on to what I was originally going to be talking about and there's no abusive messages or anything like that, but I've been getting a lot of messages from people saying to me, Mike, why are you not talking about the Battle Pass? Why are you not talking about the skins, the items, the Tekken store? And on top of that, I've just watched a Moonsault Slayer video, which I'm going to address because he said something right at the end of the video that I didn't like. With regards to what I'm talking about, the Battle Pass, I've been getting messages from people saying, why are you not speaking about it, Michael, these bad business practices? Uh, why are you not talk talking to people about the costumes they keep adding in that, that were in previous Tekken games? I think Lars just got a costume, Alyssa got a costume, I think Asuka's getting a costume as well. And to all of the people who are asking me to speak about it, why do you want me to speak about it? Has anything changed with the Battle Pass? Nothing changed. It's the exact same shit that, were, that we got back then. Nothing changed. They're, they're doing the exact same thing. Now I've heard and I heard it in the Moonsault Slayer, uh, Slayer video as well, that Blue Protocol cost Nam Bandai Namco like 50 million or something like that. And they're trying to recoup it by potentially adding in monetization schemes to Tekken. And so I get messages from people saying to me, you need to speak about this. More content creators need to speak about this. Why do they need to speak about it in order for you to not buy it? What did I say the first time I uploaded a video about the Battle Pass? The first and the only time. Actually, no, I uploaded a couple of them. I spoke about FOMO. I spoke about how much they were charging. I spoke about what was in the store. Me and King Jay did a video together and I was saying that I didn't like it. And Jay was also saying he's not a massive fan of the Battle Pass. And he was we were talking about the monetization strategies that we that were put in. I spoke about how Bandai Namco never made any mention of a store before the game came out and then they dropped it. We spoke about that. So there's like five videos on my channel. Has anything changed, guys? Why do you need me or other content creators to tell you to not buy the costumes? It is your wallet. You don't need people to tell you to not spend money on garbage. If you think the Tekken costumes are garbage, if you think the Battle Pass is garbage, which I do, I ain't spent a dime on it. I inadvertently unlock things when I play online, like you've got the free one on top. So if, if you play Tekken, you're going to unlock things. It's just unavoidable. But some of you message me and you're like, these monetization strategies, they're really scummy. They're really bad. They overcharge for it. And then I'll play you online or I'll bump into you online. You'll send me messages saying, thanks for playing me, whatever. All well and good. And then I'll be like, wait, isn't that a premium item? Wait, ain't you wearing a costume that you have to buy in the store? So why are you messaging me complaining? Do you need me to tell you <laughs> to how, how to use your money? I said it back then. This, I don't like the Tekken store. And so I have not interacted with it a single time. The only thing that I ever got from Tekken was in the, uh, is what was in the collector's edition. So I've got the Kazuya avatar when I'm walking around the Tekken lounge if I'm ever on there, which I never am. And anything else that might have come with it, which I can't even remember at this point. But what I said back then is exactly what I'm saying right now. So. For everyone that keeps on messaging me saying, speak about the battle pass, speak about the store, the answer is no. This is as, this is as much you're going to get out of me uh, regarding it. And it's just really to reply back to you guys. If the store was overcharging or charging unfairly or reusing items and we identified it when the store was announced back in like, what, March? Then why would I speak about it again? You're an adult. Don't spend money on things you think are garbage. It's not my problem if Blue Protocol cost... Uh, Bandai Namco Japan 50 million however much it is in yen I don't know it's not my problem do I want Tekken to do well yes but I'm not going to buy something that I don't like and then complain about it some of you that are complaining to me have the items in the premium store you don't need me and you don't need any other content creator to tell you to how, to, how to spend your money now if something new happened if some new monetization strategy came out and it was insidious and it was going under the radar of course I would speak about it of course we would. We spoke about the Mortal Kombat rotating store, right? And I told people, this is a FOMO thing. Don't take part in it because this is like, this is kind of like gambling almost. And I spoke about it then. Why would I talk about it now? This, the store hasn't changed. Mortal Kombat has done nothing different and neither has Tekken. Now, apparently there's going to be some sort of loot boxes that are coming out in the game. And guys, loot boxes are not a good thing. No one likes loot boxes. If you do, by all means, if you want to spend your money like that, spend your money like that. I don't like loot boxes. 
when I saw the pictures of them, I was like, okay, more garbage. But it's not, it's not like, it's not so insidious that we don't know. Every gamer knows what a loot box is. So I don't need to make a video saying, hey, they're, they're adding loot boxes to the game. If you see a box and it looks like the kind of boxes you've seen in other video games, more often than not, it's going to be a loot box. So don't buy it. Don't interact with those things. It, again, it's not our problem if Blue Protocol cost Bandai Namco money. It's not up to me. I work for my money. I have to pay rent. I've got bills to pay. I've got things to do. I'm not giving it to stuff that I don't want. And if you decide to do that, don't ask me to speak on it. Spend your money wisely. Now, that aside, even though I feel like I've said that a hundred times in different videos, Moonsault Slayer made a comment. And I want to address this comment. And I also want to address something else. I've been watching Moonsault Slayer's videos way, way, way back when. I can't even remember. He was uh, covering leaks. And I think he got in trouble with Bandai Namco. Which, you know, I, if you cover leaks, you've got to like, kind of be prepared for what's coming. I'm not saying that I think it's okay with how they handled it. But I guess there's two sides to the conversation. But anyway, I kept on watching his videos. And I wondered how he was going to evolve his content following the release of Tekken 8 because we could no longer speak about leaks or speculation and he has successfully done that however every now and then I'll watch a video and I'll be like can you be surprised somebody got angry when you said that or can you be surprised when somebody clapped back at you for saying the things you did or putting certain things on Twitter now he made a comment in this video I'm gonna play it to you guys and I'll tell you guys what I think of it I know there's a lot of like big content creators uh, in Tekken who don't say anything about the shop and monetization but if they don't speak up about this, bro, they're really, like, not on our side, bro. If the big content creators don't speak up about this, they're not on our side. Moonsault, we've never spoken before. And I don't mean to come across like I'm trying to start on you or anything. But as somebody that is in the Tekken scene that creates content for Tekken, I don't think I would class myself primarily, like, solely as a Tekken content creator. But I can see why people do. i got to ask you, why are you trying to make it an us versus them thing? You understand that people are going to hear that and be like, that sounds like you're trying to start trouble. Because content creators are not required to make videos about this. The battle pass, like I said, has not changed. It has not changed since the game had its uh, store launched. It's the same shit as before. It's the same shit as before and all gamers know what loot boxes are. So why are you trying to make an us versus them? You're almost trying to pressurize people into talking about it as if the people in your community or the people in your comment section can't make informed informed choices i highly doubt that tekken 8 is the first video game a lot of the people that you interact with have played right most people that are playing tekken have likely played other fighting games or they've been playing tekken for a very long time so we all know what these things are you don't need to say things like they're not on our side you're trying to start a fight that's what would happen if you get people that are like diehard fans of yours right let's say for example i don't know if you have diehard fans i'm just saying if you have people that are on your side with whatever you say and you make an us versus them you're going to get people going into other people's comment section saying hey why are you not speaking about this as if said content creator needs to hold your hand and guide it away from your wallet this has nothing to do with with uh, other content creators people that play tekken from what i can see tend to be from they tend to range from the ages of like 18 to 36 i can't remember where i got that statistic someone showed it to me but it's people that have their own money and know how to use it so you don't need to make an us versus them thing we need these guys to really say this is not okay kind of if you think about what they did with the mod situation right Bandai Namco was trying to shut down mods, and for a moment, it was only me, like I'm OP and Frame Whisper speaking up. But then when they tried to take down the whole website, everyone spoke up, and Bandai Namco was like, okay, we'll leave you guys alone. Okay, first of all, that's a lot of bullshit. It wasn't just the U3 talking about the situation. There were multiple people, talk multiple people talking about the situation, including myself. So much so that me and Frame Whisper had a brief conversation about it on his stream. We were supposed to link up and talk didn't end up happening i think our schedules clashed i don't know if frames even playing the game anymore i haven't uh, been uh, lucky enough to sit there and talk with him yet but that's a load of nonsense it wasn't just three people it was everyone also the situation about the website actually required people to speak up about that because they were trying to take down other people's hard work and it was completely unnecessary a lot of people that are unaware of that website's existence were made aware of it it's not the same as a loot box being put in the game. Harada's not reaching into your pocket and grabbing your wallet and saying you're spending this money. It's completely different. So this whole us versus them thing, that shit should be thrown out. In my opinion. I think that's a load of nonsense. I don't know why you would say something like that. This is kind of in line 
with that nonsense tier list that you made of tech and content creators. Now, you can say that it's a harmless tier list and I saw my face on there and I, I couldn't care if I was an A, in D, or if I just wasn't on there at all. It wouldn't bother me at all. I found it quite humorous that somebody would sit there and make a tier list. But clearly, the tier list would wind up some people. Now, I've seen the beef between D all the way G and Moonsault Slayer. And even though it wouldn't wind me up, I can understand where this is all kicked off from. I've, even though they've got their own problems, if someone else claps back at Moonsault Slayer for that tier list, I wouldn't be surprised. That is like trying to in, uh, start drama. And that kind of falls in line with the rhetoric in this video. This is not on the content creators to tell adults to not spend money on loot boxes. It's not on content creators to show adults what they already knew. Everybody knows that that costume is from Tekken 6. Everyone knows that. We've all, we've all seen it. The player base on Tekken 8 right now has dwindled down, right? The people that were always going to play Tekken are the ones that are playing Tekken now. From what I can see, they all seem to understand what the situation is. If they decide to buy it, that's up to them. And I'm also not flaming people that want to buy the costumes. If you are okay spending money on the battle pass, spending money on costumes, that's your prerogative. I couldn't care less. But for those people that are not happy with it, you don't need to wait for myself for Moonslot, for D all the way G, for King J, for Maximilian dude, for whoever it might be, to be like, don't buy it, don't spend your money on that. Because it's not a thing that needs to be, needs to have attention called to it. It is something that needed attention called to it when it initially happened, right? So when the store came out initially and we spoke about it, we made everyone aware there was no mention of this. They lied to us, the marketing team lied to us. And then the battle pass dropped just after that. So there's like two to three tiers of monetization. We spoke about it. So you saying us versus them when we've already spoken about this in length, what were you trying to do there? How many times are people going to repeat, uh, repeat themselves? Do you guys forget that the battle pass is there and you have to pay money for it? If the videos are already online critiquing Tekken and you guys know what the story is about, why are you trying to like back content creators into a corner where they need to speak about it? And you're trying to sway the mind of the public into thinking it's an us versus them. I'm not against my community. But I'm also not going to put out nonsense videos. But then again, most of the people that come to watch my videos, I don't think they're lacking in brain cells anyway. If, the, if you already know the store's there and you already know it's bad and I already told you six months ago and maybe I told you five months ago, four months ago, do you need me to tell you every single day? Don't make this an us versus them uh, thing, Moonsaults there. That's not a cool thing to do. It's a thing that you can cripple by not interacting with it. The same way when you go to a shop and you see an item and they're trying to sell it to you and they're like, hey, you know, this is the new thing. And you're like, I don't want it. I don't want it. If you decide to give in, you did that on your own. No one forced you to do it. So for everybody that keeps on messaging me about, oh, uh, the, the battle, uh, talk about the battle pass, talk about the new skins. The answer is beyond this video, no. Okay, use your common sense, use your brain. Do not spend money on things that you think are scummy. Do not spend money on things that you think are redundant. Don't spend money on things that you think are not worth your time. You don't need me to hold your hand to do that. And to Moonsault Slayer for doing the whole us versus them thing and trying to rewrite history, that's not a cool thing to do, dude. That ain't a cool thing to do. Now, I'm not trying to start beef with you. I'm just letting you know that when you do an us versus them sort of situation, some people who maybe don't have thick skin will get people coming to their comment section and start saying shit to them and it could start a whole thing. I'm sure you know that since you are not new to controversy. Anyway, I was going to make this video about uh, tier list, but <laughs> I might as well just separate it and uh, we'll talk about the cheesy tier list that I made in another video because I've screenshotted some of your comments. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you very soon. Take care and peace.